Hi, it's Eldar. Welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to add cool looking animations to your blog's websites. Blogs is a visual website builder which lets you make websites without coding. And it has lots of features by default, but if you want, there is also the blogs store where you can download the custom extensions and they called custom bricks in blocks. It will allow you to extend the functionality of this app. And today I'm going to share this you one of the extensions available. It is called page transition. So you can get the page transition brick from the blog store. Of course, I will leave the link to this page in the description below. And before showing you how to use it, let me tell you two very important things about this brick. First is that we can place the page transition brick. You can see I have it here, page transition on each of our pages. So on the home page, I can go to other pages and place it in the dynamic area of each page and then I can set it up differently for each page. Or I can actually place this brick into the footer global area. And by doing that, I can just edit once and it will appear on all pages. I'm going to do the later and place the page transition brick in footer area. So I only need to edit once and it will be apply to all pages. I will add this here. And when we add this break and select it, we always have this appearance setting in the sidebar. And there are just a few options we can change. Style, there are about 10 styles available. Color, delay and duration. So this is the white themed website. So I think that white color will look fine. As for duration, well, I will leave the default delay time but duration i will make it maybe one second and if we go to preview you can see that we get this transition and if we switch to other pages you can see that this transition is the same on all pages so let's actually change something maybe let's change the style to well fade right you can see that now it kind of fades from one side, from right to left. And we can also try shrink. Looks cool. Shrink X, Y. We have the split as well. Split, very cool one. Okay, so this is great uh, for white background, but we can change it to something different. For example, Cayenne. Let's go back to preview mode to see how it looks. It looks epic. So what if I have the different style for my website? For example, I have the dark version of this ramen template. And here we have the black background. So let's go to footer and add this transition like that. And well, white color won't look very good. As you can see, Fading from white to black is not very beautiful, so let's change it to black, like that. And I will make the duration one second once again. It's much better. So, the first thing is, like I said, we can place it on each page and like set it up separately, or we can place it in the footer and set it up for all pages. The second thing we need to know is that we can combine multiple bricks. So we have the fade effect here. Let's add a couple others. So I will just add another transition break under this one. And now I have two. The one which is at the bottom will be always first and then we will go to the top one. So let's change the style for both of these breaks to make some kind of combination of animations. So uh, for the first one, I will be using the, let's say, well, Cayenne color and I want to make this split Y and I want it to be one second long and here the duration and delay become very important because when we have two animations we need to make sure that they are not conflicting with each other. So the first one will be one second long and the delay time will be just 0.5 seconds 
for the second one I will use the style fade and the color will be just black so duration one second is fine but for the delay and I need to have at least 1.5 seconds long animation for this to work properly I can maybe make it even two seconds so let's go to preview to see how it looks well I think two seconds is too much so 1.5 So I think it looks much better and we can switch between the pages to see how it looks. Well maybe red color is not the perfect one here so let's maybe change it to something darker like that and let's add another another one let's add another page transition brick. Let's make something different completely. I will add the blue one, blue color to the shrink. So first one will be split. It will be delayed by half a second. It will be one second long. So for the second one, I will have the delay of 1.5 seconds and I will have one second duration, which means that for the third one, we need to adjust the delay even further because we have the two animations before it so the third one will be 2.5 and the duration is the same one second so maybe this is not what you want to have on your website but i'm just showing that you can combine multiple effects to get some beautiful results so let's go to preview mode i personally would use one or two at most because I think that too many is not very good. So I think that fade is very good for second one. And I think that one second is the perfect duration for any design. And for the first one, I will be using something like, like, uh, let's say shrink, shrink Y. Okay, let's see. Actually, split Y looks probably better. So I think it will be cool to use something like this for my website. And if you have the preloader enabled on your website, it will actually show the preloader first and then this animation. Keep it in mind. As you can see, page transition is a very cool and very easy to use custom brick for blocks. It allows you to add cool looking animations with just a couple of clicks and give your website some kind of character. If you have any questions about this brick, blocks app or web design in general, please leave them in the comment section below and I will do my best to answer each and every one of them. And if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing because I will continue to create videos like this on a weekly basis. Thank you for watching this video and I will talk to you in the next one.